Hey guys, Ballistic here. And I'm going to be playing Minecraft on the vanilla XP server again. So yeah, basically while I, um, between the episodes I went and built my entire house pretty much. So, um, I think we have to like change this around a bit and make it more like look better. <laughs> and I'm probably going to have to, um, I'm going to have to dig out my basement because this is going to go like, it's going to go down and it's going to loop around like this in a big loop and there's going to be different like rooms off of that. And uh, I have the upstairs finished, and there's a lighting glitch on these stairs. And you know, you have up here, you can look out the windows, and we we'll put some furnaces and stuff in these corners. Yep, and that's pretty much gonna be my house. Alright, so I think I'm gonna start digging out the bottom area over here. Hopefully, it won't hit like water or something. Because I know I am a little bit beneath the water. I think I'm gonna dig down a few more. Which farm? Okay, I, I wonder how they managed to make a witch farm. There's like two places in the entire map where like witch witches can spawn, and that's like inside of the hut. But um, yeah, it's probably pro probably possible. Mm. I can't wait to 1.5 when we get hoppers, and then we can make fully automatic like mob traps. So we can get unlimited stuff from witches. What was I looking for? Oh, yeah, coal. There's coal here. I'm only gonna need like. Let's just get eight. Alright. So apparently someone has made a witch farm. I'll have to go mining. So work. Can't shift click that in. I'll make 40 torches. Yeah, I wonder I wonder how that works. It must be like two spawning pads and like some push them off or something. And they probably get dropped or killed by lava or something. And you pick up, pick up the drops, it seems. I'll probably have to look into that. Mm, it's kind of slow right now. You have to go on our, early in the morning to use mob traps. I, ha I have four mob spawners near my house, so I'm gonna have tons of mob traps. Alright. Put up iron for a shovel. Run over here, use a crab table, make some sticks. Make a shovel. Iron shovel. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have like a, sh a layer of dirt where the water once was because I knew I was going to be doing this. So, how long? How high do I have this? This is three right now. I'm gonna dig down one more. And this, this underground cavern system type that I'm making is probably gonna. Like weave its way to the mob spawners. But this is gonna be like the main part of my house. That other part, the house up there is kinda just for show. But this is gonna be like the real house where I'm gonna make my chest storage room, move my animal farms down here, all kinds of stuff like that. Okay. I need to get some wood. I should just go and stock up on wood. This happens. 64 to 9. So I've been cutting down a lot of trees. I've just been planting them back right here. I think I'm going to go run over here and get some trees. Planting a bunch of these saplings because I have way too many of them. Yeah, I was originally going to build my house up here, but then noticed the land was far too narrow for it. So I moved it down to the swamp area. But, um, yep, I need some more wood right now. I'm going to go on like a big expedition just to get a like, full inventory of wood because I know I'm going to use it all someday. I'm going to just look at some coal, make some stuff. I haven't gone mining in a few days. That's why I'm out of everything except for iron, which I have like four stacks of. Yeah, but the, and this episode is going to be like 15 minutes or so because um, the last one was just 25. took forever to upload, which is uh, like two, an hour and a half I think it took just to upload. But I, I don't just want them to be up quicker or not up at midnight. <laughs> Even though my name is Midnight in Minecraft. Yes, but I just, I'm just kind of just trying to get them out. I'm on 15 minute episodes. That's what I'm going for. How much wood do I have? 34. Oh, it's cobblestone. Chopping down the trees. I should replant them too. Probably not. My house is probably isn't gonna progress on land over here. 
I want to make a stable or something <laughs> for like cows. Tend their horses. Okay, saplings. And yesterday I was like using level five and four enchantments on my pit on my iron axe. And I got a level one enchantment, which is unbreaking and efficiency. Which I'm I'm going for level one enchantments now. It's far better than the four. But I also added a new book to my enchantment room. So you have slightly higher levels now. I think I'm gonna build like automatic farms. I'm sick of har harvesting them constantly. So yeah, that's gonna be on my to-do list. So much to do. Just chopping trees down. Our stack should be good. For now at least. Probably gonna need more later. Okay, I, have, I know I have stone bricks somewhere, so I'm gonna need those too. Let's plant some more trees. Save the forests. Alright, so now we've reforested the area pretty much. I can go and continue building my house. Oh. <laughs> See the farms working for him there. Okay, get the sand out of here. I'm, I'm bound to hit water. Okay. Oh, I forgot my stone bricks. <laughs> okay, so it doesn't quite work as he intended it to work. Um, there seems to be some kind of problem. Probably their splash potions are getting to him. Uh, what was I looking for? Oh, flower pots. I need those. Those look nice somewhere. Some stone. Uh, not, the, not the melon seeds. Stone, stone brick slabs. Stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. I knew I had these stone brick. There we go, that should be enough for now. Alright, well, let's organize my inventory. Just get rid of everything I don't need. And the chest is full. Oh, I actually need these arrows. Need all the stone bricks. Uh, I need stone. I need to start saving up glass and stuff because I'm gonna be using them a lot for my mob traps because I like to see the mob spawning. So that's kind of nice. Kind of like a big village is about to 30 black long fall. Hmm, what else should I use? It seems like enough for now, but I don't I don't feel like it's enough. I'm gonna use some might use some wool, make some shears out of some iron stuff. One iron. Two iron shears and get some wool. Shearing the sheep. Oh, 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 my god! No, 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 Alright, that was a bad idea. No! I'm just gonna like, escape. Creepers. Okay, I will have to fix this. Later I will. But where did that creeper even spawn? There is literally nowhere he can go. It may be right here. I doubt it, though. There has to be somewhere these things are coming from. I I always get creepers in my house. Possibly, like, right here he could have spawned. Don't think he swam across the river. It's weird. My entire area is covered in torches, too. Probably <sighs> spawn at the top of a tree or something. I don't know if they can do that or not. I got a power one bow. Alright, I'll have to fix that later. Hmm. I'm gonna use stone bricks as the floor, except for around the stairs. Okay, this 15 wool. 
Half those tribe from killed sheep. <laughs> That's so many sheep. And the stupid creeper comes over and kills all of them. Except for like seven. <laughs> this is the noise below how they got released, and I gotta go and track them down. Or just kill them. I do have a lot of sheep. I have too many sheep, in fact, for like what I need from it from them. And I hate how they just mm. Fix this. Alright, give me a second to think here. See what our problem is. We need to, we need to make this go down even like more. More stairs, don't I? This one more should be enough. I can use half slabs as the roof, it'd be fine. <laughs> AFK. He loves ducks, I love squids. Squids are amazing. Uh, what, what did I want? Oh, yes. Stairs. I think six is enough for stairs. Yeah, you need five for stairs. Nine. Well, yeah, you need all six. I felt like it was just raining like a minute ago, now it's raining again. Yeah, but you guys see what I mean here? I'm gonna make this like loop around like this underneath the house. And it's gonna go like to a lower level, and it's gonna be a massive like cave system type thing I'm going to create. Which will lead to all my mob spawners and stuff. It's gonna take a lot of pickaxes. <laughs> oh my god. I really need this dirt right now. Want to drop that? How long have I been recording? All right, so I've been recording about twelve minutes. Let's I keep going. All right, this wall is almost complete. Ah, oh, I stupid crafting table, throwing me off. Yeah, this, this is definitely enough room. If I do this. Wait, no. Alright, let's see what we're dealing with over here. Alright, so right here is the surface. So cover this up. I'm surprised we haven't hit water yet. I'm gonna have a lot of sand after this. Incorporate some sandstone into my house. Alright, this should be enough to do a loop type thing I'm looking for. No, I actually don't think I need a wall here. Now, now that I've built it, I don't need it. Probably keep that there. Extend this by one. So this is episode two, I th yeah, episode two of the Vanilla XP series. Hopefully, I can keep the series going for quite a while because I'm enjoying this server a lot lately. And uh, I think I'm gonna extend this one more so I can make it like an official doorway. Probably gonna hit water with this one just just because I want to extend it. Like this, uh, like this. I mean, think of some new ideas for skeleton farms and zombie farms and stuff like that. And I think I've thought of a drowning type thing, or a drowning trap. Uh, same thing with cows, too. Because with the new update there, um, the hitboxes on the baby cows are decreased. So I have this idea to like put cows in a grid with square type thing, grids. And then water will flow to the middle where there's be like four blocks like um, this. And all the baby cows will be stuck here. When they grow up, they'll like grow big and then like get suffocated or something. Or um, they'll be pushed down, and you know something will activate and they'll be killed. And they'll be sent to a hopper, which will bring into a um, what's called chest. And it'll bring into a chest. Go. I gotta dig this whole area out. Probably do that in my my own time. Sand do I have? I have a half stack of sand. 
pen didn't even destroy a desert for it. I do actually have a desert near me to destroy, so... <laughs> so if I ever had to do that, I have a desert to destroy, and it's my desert, so I can destroy... Ooh, a coal! I was just thinking about how much I needed coal, now I have coal. Alright, I completely forgot what I was talking about. Alright, destroying deserts. I do have a desert really close to my property, and uh, if I can just like, I can just destroy it and like put cobblestone down and put the sand on top, and say like warning, don't dig down or something like that. I think it should be fine as long as it's on no one's property. Because I'm pretty far away from most people's property. Because everybody seems to be on like the opposite side of the direction I ran from spawn. So you know, it's just like, yeah, there's one way which like points you to go in. Like if you just like, you know, points towards the east. Like, say you just spawn and you're like pointing this way. Well, I usually do a 180 turn or I go like this and I just run this way. So, um, yeah, so I'm just, I'm just different. They usually have weirdly placed houses. Also, I was playing a PvP server with my friend, and we're making a, like our base out of obsidian, like everyone usually does. So then I thought of an idea. What if we were to build a massive obsidian wall around spawn? There's no rules against it. But then you know, like I just got bored of PvP servers because um, yeah, most of them are terrible because you can't like talk to anyone ever because everybody's all like. Oh, I can't talk to you, you're not in my faction, or something stupid like that. So I basically gave up on those kind of servers. I'm actually kind of liking the way this is looking. Put slabs here. Cover that up. Okay, this is not working out. I think I'll probably just leave that like that. No, I forgot about that. Probably extend out the house a little bit, like put stairs outside just so I can just make that wood. Or of course I could just raise the dirt up here by one. Which you know then be level with that. And um, you know that'd be fine then. Sh uh, stupid sheep that escaped or walking around in did, did they all escape? Um I'm gonna have to herd them back in. Yep, it's a little hole here. I'm gonna get some wheat. And this is gonna be the final thing I'm doing in this episode is herding the sheep back into the pen. Where is my wheat? My chest was so unorganized. Wheat, 17 of it. Alright, I'm gonna make an opening so that we can walk in with the sheep. I have a, fa I have a fence gate. What am I doing? Okay. I took up some of the blue wool. I have no lapis left, so I can't replace that. Okay, sheep, come in here. Come on in here, yes. Yes. Only need two. Come on, sheep. No, 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 no. Oh, stupid sheep. Walk. Right, I'm gonna break this so they can walk through more easily. Sheep. Sheep, 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 sheep. Alright, one is going in through here. I think it's a cobblestone wall. There we go. I'm gonna get another sheep. I'm walking around aimlessly. One more sheep is all that I need. Come on, open the fence gate. Walk in through the fence gate. So don't have to break anything. No, 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 don't walk out the fence gate. Sheep are frustrating. Okay, break that. Close that. Just follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Oh my god. Sheep. Get in here. Get in here. This sheep is going over here in the corner. While this one walks to me. Hopefully both of them are going to walk to me. No, I have an idea. Come on. No. It's don't think you're gonna follow me now. No, yes, get in, the, yes, get in, get in, get in. Yes! And I have to fix this. I'm gonna cut off, cut off this episode here, guys. So I'll see you next time. And then this is Ballistic, and I'll be seeing you guys.